It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Fuck. I got this bandana. It's not a bandana. It's a buff that I bought. It's got sacred geometry on it, but it makes my fucking hair stick out and it looks weird. But anyway. Um, so I do feel like we're living in this sort of you this sort of dystopian utopia it is sort of a it's sort of like a like a heavenly he hell or like a hellish heaven i think it's closer to a to a heavenly hell because think about it in my life like if you would have given me the the device that i've got in my hand an iphone 13 and given that to me as a kid with full capabilities it would have blown my mind Okay, like the amount of accessibility that we have in in the world right now is insane. Okay, the amount of autonomy that people have, the amount of uh, free choices that that we have every day, and the ease of access to those choices are amazing. Like, you know, do, like do, any food you want in the whole city. You can just press a few buttons and it'll be at your house in 30 minutes. That's crazy, okay? Uh, Uber, you can just type a few buttons and then somebody comes and picks you up and takes you anywhere you want to go. Um, you can talk to anybody, right? At any point. But I almost feel like, and but it is a dystopia. It's sort of like Blade Runner 2049, if you've ever seen that movie, because all of this technology, and it's sort of dark. Like, um, it's, it's sort of got a dark feel to it. Um, because I feel like all of this technology might have gone... It, I think that people kind of saw what, what it was and, and invested in it, really quickly and made it as good as they can they could because why wouldn't you but i think that they probably made it too good too quickly it's outpaced our ability to enjoy it like this is what i i was talking to one of my buddies about this he said i was like i was like our technology has outpaced our ability to enjoy it there's ten thousand movies on netflix but you're you can't even watch it's like there's no way you're, you'll watch all of them and you're sitting there trying to pick one. And as soon as you pick one, you're like, okay, that one. And then like for the first like 10, 15 minutes, it better hook you in because you're going to be wondering, oh, maybe, maybe I should have picked something else. And uh, yeah, I mean, not to mention, you know, that it's all, uh, you know, the, the powers that be that are trying to use this stuff for, for nefarious purposes or, uh, you know, and then there's people walking around who don't even aren't even aware of all of all of this. So, yeah. And I'm not like a black pillar doomsayer person um, because I see where this technology uh, is and, and, and where it's going. And it's going to get better even. Um, and life is going to become uh, essentially easier uh for the little things, but harder in other ways. Like, like for me personally, I, I feel like relationships are harder now because we're so saturated with like input from, from everywhere on our, on social media, which I could take, make a whole nother video about how social media has, has ruined everything. But, you know, it's like, we're saturated with input from, from everyone all the time. Um, and it's become to where like, everything we've all become so autonomous that it's like that relationships are hard you know don't even get me started on tinder and bumble but it's like everybody has their own self-contained bubble almost and it's like hard harder to like break into that and like become you know to like make friends because everything's so autonomous Everybody's got everything they need 
in their in their phones nobody needs anything else and i think that it has this sort of a a backdrop uh for the mental health of people because we're not supposed to be so autonomous maybe you know um so things and things get better and things get worse in a way um but you gotta just have the good with the bad so you know overall i think that there's a balance to things and it a lot of a lot of whatever is is uh life is is just your perspective on it and your attitude about it so you know